G'day, it's Clint Patterson here. Today we're talking more about reversing rheumatoid arthritis symptoms. And in particular, I wanna draw your attention to a scientific study talking about diet and rheumatoid arthritis back in late 2017. This one, it is published in the Frontiers in Nutrition journal, and it is called Managing Rheumatoid Arthritis with Dietary Interventions. Uh, Shweta Khanna, K-H-A-N-N-A, is the lead on this. You can search on Google and download the free PDF and read this, and I recommend you do. Um, and let me tell you why it's important. Over the, oh gosh, I think for about 25 years, there have been publications about diet and rheumatoid arthritis uh, in the medical literature. And this is a review of all or a majority of those publications. So the author has gone through and done the equivalent of printing everything out, laying it all over the floor and going through with a highlighter and seeing consistencies between success with this diet and success with that diet and even further success with this food and that food or that range of foods and then putting it together in this literature review it's like a, a summary, right? A, a review of all the work that's been done thus far and saying, well, here are the guidelines based on all the published evidence. And lo and behold, as I've been saying for a very long time, the recommendations are a mostly plant-based diet with no animal products, no oils, uh, no processed foods. Um, but, but let me not put words on the page, let me read out the results of this study. Um, first of all, justifying that everyone should be changing their diet with rheumatoid arthritis. Listen to this. There's a growing wealth of literature, published medical evidence, supporting the positive impact of diet therapy in decreasing disease activity in RA. With increasing understanding of microbiota mediated disease pathology, what that just means is how our gut influences our immune system and the beneficial effects of nutrients on inflammation and immunity. So our interest in dietary interventions is growing, which is great, right? Because we're talking about published medical stuff here. We're not talking about what we do as patients and having it considered to be crazy or ineffective by the rheumatologists. On the contrary, this is information for medical doctors to be reading. Let's hope they do. Um, and so the conclusion is we believe based on all of the research uh, papers that they've read and compiled that an ideal meal can include raw or moderately cooked vegetables, okay? Emphasizing lots of greens, which I believe are the most crucial aspect of, or the, one of the first things you should be doing is increase leafy greens because they feed your gut bacteria, they're alkalizing, they're um, very, very effective uh, source of vitamins and minerals. And yeah, they just, they're just transformative in my view. Uh, legumes, so that's beans and lentils and so on, with addition of spices like turmeric and ginger, which we all know, okay, fine. Seasonal fruits. Okay, wonderful, no brainer, right? Um, people concerned about sugars, well, when you eat the whole fruit and you have the fiber which is coexisting with the fruit, then that fructose is easily transported through the body in a natural way. You're not drinking sugary drinks, which is a totally different thing. They've mentioned probiotic yogurt. That's open for debate with me. I would say that you're best off without any animal products whatsoever. However, I will say that if you're doing yogurt, then you are having those problematic casein animal proteins, which are highly allergenic, being fermented, meaning they're breaking down into their amino acids. And so the issues there are decreased. And I can say, yeah, okay, I can see how the studies seem to indicate that that may not be problematic. But um, as a purist here, and as a, someone with rheumatoid arthritis and someone who's worked with thousands of people with rheumatoid arthritis, uh, I can at least say this, you can do fabulously without it. And because I don't encourage the use of yogurt, um, I don't know if the challenges are increased with it, but you can certainly do so well without it. Um, that, that, that one is the only little part of this that I disagree with. 
all of which are good sources of natural antioxidants and deliver anti-inflammatory effects. The patient should avoid, wait for it, processed foods, okay, junk stuff, packets of chips, crisps, all this crap, high salt, again, you know, that's kind of uh, commonplace knowledge. Now, crucially here, oils. You must avoid oils, and I've talked about this a lot in other videos, uh, but you've got to avoid all oils. And this is um, every, every source of oil. You can put it on your skin, it's fine, but don't go consuming oils, especially cooked oils, restaurant oils, anything like a, a Thai meal that's been stir-fried in oil. If you don't believe me, then I dare you to go and spend a day where you eat lots of stir fried oil or eat hot chips from an oily uh, uh, deep fry from a from especially from a restaurant where they keep refrying that same oil, which increases the free radical content through the roof. I don't want you to take this challenge. Please don't do it. Just trust me. Get rid of all oils. Yes, olive oil. Just take it out of your diet. Butter, sugar. And the big one, animal products. Okay, so what do they recommend? That's full stop, right? That's period. So they are recommending, with the exception of some probiotic yogurt, they are recommending a whole foods, low fat, no oil, no animal product diet. That is a plant-based diet, whole foods. Okay, it's the same thing that I've been saying for the last eight years. So. Fortunately, some rheumatologists are starting to understand that this is the path forward. And whilst they may not have the perspective that I have, which is working closely with other people with rheumatoid for many, many years, um, they have access to the, uh, sorry, uh, on dietary exercise and natural things. The rheumatologist who works with thousands of people, of course, um, has access to the uh, scientific literature and should be aware of studies like this, which are so, so powerful in building confidence from a medical uh, perspective of being able to make those recommendations. Inside Rheumatoid Support, where we've got hundreds of members that I have the privilege and honour of helping and encouraging and guiding uh, on a daily basis, uh, Camellia has just joined. And she says, contrary to other rheumatologists, okay, I've highlighted here, her uh, rheumatologist now emphasizes the importance of a plant-based diet. So this is, she joined yesterday. So, you know, this is as current as it possibly could be. Uh, you can see that, um, you know, some of this information is coming through um, a lot of it via patients but also via you know good doctors who read the medical literature around this topic and that they are now recommending a plant-based diet which is so essential because if you're not improving and you just jump lily pad lily pad from medication to medication diet is like just staring you in the face and it's something that you can take hold of yourself and uh, and work on. Um, there's a great rheumatologist called Dr. George Munoz, who at this current time is our monthly sort of resident rheumatologist. He's become inside rheumatoid support and rheumatoid solutions. And we speak to him once a month as a group. I host the webinar with him and take live questions. And he is supportive of a plant-based diet alongside a bunch of other natural recommendations for rheumatoid arthritis minimization and management alongside his regular, um, I guess, conventional medical approach with pharmaceuticals. So if you would like to join us and speak to him um, and be part of our monthly live calls and learn from him, get a second opinion, um, ask him questions or ask me questions in that format and come join Rheumatoid Support or Rheumatoid Solutions. Uh, or if you just want to get my input or input from other people like Camelia, who just joined the other day and speak to her, myself or others and actually talk about your situation and build a strategy uh, about the path forward, 
then come join us. I'll put some links below this video. Thanks so much and keep eating healthy. Get out all that crap out of your diet. It'll make the world of difference. Okay, bye for now.